At the beginning of the spring 2017 semester, Cabrini University implemented a new drug testing policy for its student athletes. Cabrini in the past really just followed the NCAA policy and that was that um, our athletes could be tested during the championship segment of their season. Um, if they went to the NCAA tournament, then they could at any time be tested. Um, but aside from that, we didn't have a policy in place. First thing we did was we reached out to a company called Drug Free Sport, which is a national company that does drug testing for not only colleges, they do it for the NCAA, they do it for professional sports. So we reached out to them and kind of found out what we needed to do on their end. Um, then what we did was we reached out to schools in our conference um, and asked them if they did drug testing and if so, could we look at their policy. We reached out to other schools outside our conference but that are on the higher end um, as far as Division Three. So we wanted to see kind of what they did. And then from there, we met with our SAC, which is our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and we took their input as far as what they'd like to see in the policy, um, met with our coaches and administrators, and then basically from there, just kind of developed the policy, went back and forth. All the drug tests are random, and you will never know who's going to get drug tested until you get a text. And they have to show up to the trainer's room at 6 a.m. the morning of testing. And Drug Free Sport is already there, ready to go. Um, they're given instructions what to do the night before, um, how much to drink. Um, and then basically, Drug Free Sport takes them from there. I mean, it's a urine test, so they have to go in and provide a sample. And if uh, they don't give enough of a sample, they have to wait until they can give one. Um, and then from there, it gets sent away, and, and results come in anywhere from 72 hours to two weeks. If the test is found positive, the athlete must attend mandatory counseling sessions immediately and is suspended from their sport for seven days. On a second offense, the athlete must attend mandatory counseling sessions that take place several times a week in addition to serving a seven-day suspension. Also, this will result in an automatic retest during the next drug testing session. If the test is failed for a third time, the athlete must attend multiple weekly counseling meetings and will be suspended for a full calendar year as well as automatically being retested during the next testing session. In December of 2016, uh, we had a meeting where we invited a mandatory meeting for all student athletes um, and SAC representatives like myself to attend to learn more about the policy that was going to be put into place. We felt that it was important to kind of get ahead of, of things and um, you know we're always talking with our athletes about um, health and wellness issues within their sports and just as athletes you know sleeping well, eating well, working out and we just felt that this was a natural progression. From your first day of freshman year until the day of graduation you are able to be tested. The whole idea between, behind this is that even if you are a senior um, and you're out of season, like, you're, like if you play a fall sport and you're done for the rest of the year, you can still be tested because that doesn't mean the athletic department's giving up on you. Do you think it's fair for athletes because they should stop using drugs and it'll really help everyone be clean? In the spring of 2016, a Cabrini lacrosse player died of a drug overdose. I think that it is helpful just because of what happened to our lacrosse team. Um, I thought that was really devastating and this is a way, uh, like an attempt to put a like, stop to that kind of thing um, because it prevents like heavy drug use and then there's like weed but like that can like lead into like heavy drugs so it just keeps it all out of play and it keeps us at like a top, top, top performance for us to play. I believe it's fair. Um, I know we took a vote and actually a lot of us in SAC wanted a little stricter, um, but just for the sake of certain teams, uh, like our baseball and softball team, who have games almost every day, or who have double headers, that kind of stuff, um, we couldn't make it too harsh. Why we do it, I mean we really can't answer why other schools do it. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of different reasons, but hopefully the same reason that we do it is for um, the health and safety of our student athletes and also uh, just to kind of help them make healthier choices um, and educate them on kind of the best practices. We just want to help them out. It's, we're not out to get anyone. Um, the policy's out to help people who may have an addiction 
to a certain, uh, whether it be a drug or a steroid or something like that, get them help, um, but also catch, catch you before it becomes an addiction.